Hey everyone, Kimberly Munoz here, Instructional Technologist with Franklin ISD. Have you ever wondered what is an easier way to help my students do research? How can I help them more easily put in citations and quotes into their research project? Well, I'm going to help you solve that problem in three minutes. If you're using Google Docs, there is an excellent tool called the Research Tool. You simply click on Tools, click on Research, or do the shortcut, and it will open up the research window on the right-hand side. You'll see by clicking on the drop-down menu that you can search everything in Google, images, scholar, just quotes, dictionary, personal, or tables. Personal is just searching your personal Google Drive. So let's say, for instance, that we're doing research over World War II. So when I press return, Everything that pops up, there will be images, there will be the period, web results, and so on. If I want to insert one of these into my paper, I can simply just click on it, and it will give me an insert option. Once it inserts it into my paper, you'll notice that it has a little citation of a 1 next to it. If I scroll down to the bottom of my page, you'll see that it inserts a footnote automatically of where that image came from. What's also great is that as you search through the research tool, let's say there are some web results that you want to look at. You can actually hover over these results, click preview, and it pops open a window of what that website looks like. If you like it, you can insert the link or you can click on it to further view it in another tab. Or if you want to go ahead and cite it, you can actually click Cite, and then it will put another number for a footnote wherever your cursor is in your paper. So wherever your cursor will be is where that citation will go. So let's say that we actually want to find quotes related to World War II, and there are no quotes there. So maybe we could just type in Hitler and then there are some quotes that will come up about Hitler. And then if we want to use those, we can hover over it and again click insert. It will insert that quote for us with the citation next to it and you can scroll to the bottom of the screen again to see where that quote came from. So as you can see, the research tool really helps to mainstream things. It keeps the student all in one place, which is in this document. It gives them the whole internet just in this tiny little window. And again, you can uh, modify your search by clicking this little tab to choose more um, specific results of what you're looking for. So everything is where I would start, but if you are specifically just looking for images or quotes, then those are great tools to go to also. And then the dictionary, of course, will help you to look up words that maybe you don't understand. I hope that you'll find the research tool in Google Docs helpful and check back with us for more information at another time.